at Target and CBS nowadays. I don't even know how we got here. <laughs> Sorry, I, you may still be finishing your dessert, I apologize. Yeah. No, but this is the state that we're living in right now. Ah, yes. Republican lawmakers have dildos and double dongers on the mind as Americans suffer from high inflation, corporate greed, and all sorts of problems. And of course, that was Marjorie Green, just absolutely outraged that CVS sells things like vibrators. And other sex toys for adults. So I don't know why she has an issue with that. I don't know why she's wasting any breath talking about that, especially considering she's a lawmaker in a country that has all sorts of issues. The producer for a producer for Tucker Carlson tonight happened to notice that CVS is now selling sex toys, and they appear to be a relative bargain. For example, there's a tush kush for $11.97, though the accompanying lotion that goes with it will set you back an additional $11.97. And if you've got the cash right there in the middle, the buzzy butt will run you $32.50. Information, just wanted you to know about New York. But it's, it's immoral to sell Marlboro's Trace, just so you know. <laughs> Thank you for your reporting, you blow my mind every night. Uh, last time I checked, you can still buy cigarettes at places like CVS. Uh, and thank you for the detailed information about how much Buzzy Butt costs. Mm. I'm glad that he did uh, his due diligence and really researched this topic. We needed to know the details, yeah. By the way, for the record, uh, Marlboros will kill you, whereas a tush kush uh, will probably make you feel good. Uh, so yes, uh, Marlboros are infinitely worse. Which by the way, I don't care, smoke yourself to death, enjoy. Yeah, it's called freedom. Uh, but you know, in the old days, they used to do this, and they probably still do it, and you'll see it in the next spring break. It's a Hannity favorite. He'll put up pictures of scantily clad young women in bikinis and be like, mm -hmm. Can you believe this spring break girls and all the immoral things they're doing? Let's look at it for hours and hours, right? So, this is their new version of it because they realize their audience is actually now into butt plugs. So, they're like, Can you look at this butt plug, the buzzy butt? Everybody looking at the buzzy butt for hours. We, yeah. We're, oh, tis, 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 you really shouldn't do it. But we're gonna do another segment on it tomorrow. You wanna know why stores like CVS sell these things? Um, because uh, in this free market economy, they sell things that people buy. And they make money off of that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I'm, it's just, I'm, I'm just trying to understand what they're suggesting here. What are they suggesting? That adults, like that sex toys should be banned in America? Yeah. So of they're, course. I mean, why are they getting involved in what adults decide to do in the privacy of their own homes? Right? So if someone wants a vibrator, they should be able to buy a vibrator. It's none of Tucker Carlson's freaking business. Right? <laughs> and by the way, if we want to go down this road and we want to start going after people for being adults who are interested in pleasure, I mean, we should send the Gestapo over to Tucker Carlson's house to make sure no, you know there are no sex toys in his bedroom. Yeah, I right. Mean, what, what difference does it make to you? I mean, look at remember Tucker Carlson did that hilarious segment where he was like, uh, "If Biden wins, they're going to make you drink Starbucks coffee every day." Right. I'll note for the record that that never happened because Tucker Carlson thinks you're a lunatic, and that's why he says things like that because he thinks you don't believe it. Meanwhile, though, they're like, "What's up your butt?" We want to know what's in your butt. <laughs> okay, uh, don't put that in. And in that one, don't do that one. Not that one. <laughs> don't pleasure yourself that way. Don't touch your body. Don't do this. We want to control your lives. You <sighs> lunatics want to control what's in us. <laughs> okay, like every part of our personal lives. Tucker Carlson's like, well, so what else? Hey Gallagher, what else did they do with the buzzy butt? <laughs> These guys, of course, they're projecting when they say they want to control your. We want to control your lives. We 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 want to give you higher wages and better health care. They're the ones who are obsessed with controlling your lives. So just go live your own life, Tucker Carlson. You're infinitely rich. Shut up about what we do with our lives. How is this a freaking story? Can we just how does this hurt how anyone? How is this a story? It's a story on the most watched show in cable news. It is a story as if as if this is breaking news. They sell dildos in some stores in America. And Who cares? Here, sex toys have been available at mainstream retailers for more than a decade. This is not news. Condom companies like Trojan and Durex started selling their own brands of sex toys in major retailers as early as 2011. 
By 2012, stores including CVS, Walgreens, Kroger, Safeway, Target, and Walmart sold toys alongside uh, prophylactics. So how is this a news story? So look, first of all, I love that they, they're like, oh, one of Tucker's producers found the buzzy butt. Oh, did he? Where did he find it? <laughs> uh, anyways, but guys, this is for us, the reason we're covering it is because they're actually trying to pass laws on this stuff. Back in 2007, Ted Cruz filed a, a, a brief with uh, his legal team did with the US Court of Appeals. And they argued that public morals demanded that there was government interest in quote, discouraging prurient interest in sexual gratification, combating the, and the combating the commercial sale of sex. So they're saying, we don't want you to have sexual gratification. But if you're married to Ted Cruz, congrats, you already have that. So he already passed that bill in his own house. Okay, but for the rest of us, why do you care if we have sexual gratification? What is wrong with you perverts? So, and the last part of it, his brief wanted to said that they wanted to quote, discourage autonomous sex. That means sex with yourself. It literally by definition affects no one else. And the guys saying that they're in favor of freedom say, I want to control every part of your goddamn life. Don't touch this, don't touch that. I don't care if it's in your own house and you're not hurting anyone else. I'm gonna control your body. Freedom, I'm in favor of freedom, okay? So it's absurd, F off already, Ted Cruz and Tucker Carlson. Go play with your buzzy butt on your own time and leave <laughs> us the, uh, alone. <laughs> Sorry, that was hilarious. <laughs> they got it. I mean, kudos for the fun names for these items, I guess. Indeed. You know.